Now it looks super old. I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Last year. You know, we've tried making copper quarters on this channel a couple of different ways, and today we're gonna try a new method. We're gonna actually try and use some electricity to copper plate some things, uh, some quarters, and, and maybe a half dollar as well. Now, I've never actually tried to copper plate anything before, so this is a new experience. We'll see how it goes, but uh, hopefully, I mean, fingers crossed. But I think we'll be able to do a pretty decent job. It's not real difficult and doesn't require a lot of materials, so I think we should be able to do this. So for our solution, we're using some water, and I'm gonna add to that some copper nitrate that I've made. Now I made this by dissolving some copper metal in some nitric acid and neutralizing it, and we've added this to the beaker. And that's why we're seeing the blue color. It's all those copper ions in the solution. Okay, so I think everything is ready. We have our copper metal in the solution, and we have our item that we're going to try and copper plate, in this case a quarter. We're gonna add it to the solution. All right, so at this point we've added the item that we want to electroplate. In this case, I'm using a quarter. Uh, we've added that to the solution on the negative side. The positive side is connected to the uh, bundle of fuzz, the, the copper that we uh, put in there. I'm running about two and a half volts and uh, seems to be working okay. Um, it does take quite a while. That's what I'm coming to find out. The uh, electroplating process is not something that happens very quickly. It does take some time. So we're going to let this continue to run for a little bit and uh, see what the results look like. We're going to have to keep moving the quarter though because, you know, there's a little piece sticking out and uh, that's not going to get plated. So uh, we'll keep shifting that around so that we get the entire surface coated evenly and hopefully it'll come out nice and copper colored.
looks super old. It's like antiqued. Very cool. successfully able to copper plate a couple of things uh, we did a quarter and a half dollar and they came out very interesting looking they're very copper in color but they almost look like they're antiqued so very old looking um, this one actually is from 2009 so it's only about nine years old it looked brand new when we started and now it's got this nice antique finish to it and uh, a really interesting bronzish color. It's I would say it's more bronze than copper. Perhaps that's because we didn't leave it in the solution long enough. Uh, maybe it does take a lot longer than what I have the patience for right now. Uh, but I think we could have done a little bit better. But I don't think it's too bad. I mean, we were able to get it completely covered in copper. All right, so I hope that video will help you understand the copper plating process a little bit easier. Um, a couple of key things that I want to pass along. Uh, the lower the voltage on your, your power supply, the better. Uh, I've even heard of folks doing this with like a, a D battery, a D-sized battery, or one of those giant lantern batteries. Uh, but I do know that keeping the voltage lower will actually give you a better finish on the item you're trying to copper plate than if you have the voltage cranked up. Keeping it around one to one and a half volts should be pretty ideal. It's also important to make sure there's already a source of the copper ions in solution. That's why we added the copper nitrate to our beaker. You also want to make sure that the positive source going into your solution is uh, not contaminated. And, and what I mean by that is uh, we made our positive electrode out of the copper and then I hung that over the side of the beaker so that I could clamp it on with the alligator clip and not get the alligator clips into the solution. So if you get the alligator clips in the solution, it's going to plate off whatever those are made out of as well and you're not going to get a true copper finish. And there's plenty of information and resources out there about electroplating with different kinds of metals, so give a good Google search for copper plating and you'll find some really good guides out there. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please make sure you hit that like button down there and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there as well. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.